Soccer Universe to an overdue video looking back on the maybe the last matches that have been played, at least the last matches that have been played in the top five leagues, namely in Spain and Germany. And then there are three leagues that are still playing and I want to just go through the results so I don't expect a big video. I'm not wearing any jersey for either of these teams that we're talking about because I don't have any and it's March 17th so it's St. Patrick's Day. Gotta wear an island jersey. I had it already in the unpacking video. Sorry for the sound, but um, I had the microphone between my legs, more or less, because my girls would otherwise have made sound. Hope it doesn't bother you too much and you still enjoy uh, the unpacking with those two little ones. But yeah, there's also, as I said, breaking news, the Euros are postponed. I'm going to make a dedicated video on that one and I will keep up with the... Um, case study videos of how we could continue in Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga and League uh, uh, you got Serie A yesterday. So uh, let's right move it. But I want to get this out, out of the way just for completeness sake. Um, the first one is, it should have happened already in mid-February in La Liga, uh, a part against Real Sociedad, where Real Sociedad I think got two penalties, had a two minute lead, a bar made a late equalizer, but the rest is that overall had the better of it. It's also uh, notable that this was played behind closed doors because everyone was already expecting the coronavirus is gonna wreak havoc and we might have to play the entire round, but we still have to play this one. And this one has been postponed because I think uh, a landfill was burning and there was toxic air. So uh, one of those matchups that was not <laughs> under a good sign but uh it was a big win for Real Sociedad because now they're moving up into fourth spot just ahead of Getafe and Atletico Madrid so kind of a big win for um them and then let's look at Abar yeah they're still in trouble um just ahead of Celta and Real Mallorca but they are definitely in the relegation battle moving on to the Bundesliga with quite a big match who already was um postponed because of the storm that we had in uh, mid-February or early February. Now, Corona. I mean, uh, the year starts out a little bit odd, I have to say. We have storms, we have Corona. It doesn't really get much better. But yeah, Gladbach Köln, uh, <laughs> I have to say this was one of the Vira games. Gladbach got a very deserved win. However, both Gladbach goals and even the Köln goal were serious mistakes. The first one um, not a good cross, but Embo the ball gets to Embolo, who takes a shot that would never made him into goal, but got a uh, deflection, made it 1-0, then in the second half another cross was deflected to an, uh, because of that, into goal, so an own goal, also not exactly what he wanted. Then uh, in the last 50 minutes the game actually really took up steam, and at the end you also have, to, this was one of those where you still had the fans outside cheering and chanting, uh, just not inside of the stadium, so it didn't really comply with all the corona stuff, and again another sign, it was, if you don't want people to mingle, it's good to cancel soccer games, as much as it hurts all of us soccer fans here. Yeah, and the last goal for Köln was a... Um, Jan Sommer had the ball and was waiting and was waiting, takes his time and when he was kicking it out he slipped the ball goes to Ud who then there were defenders around him but uh, he kind of shook them off and powered through them to get the goal and therefore made it only 2-1 and then very late in the game he even had the chance to equalize up but was not meant to be let's move uh, let's see the table um, Gladbach with that one, similar to Rasa, that moves back in the Champions League spots. Uh, point behind Leipzig, so we have still Bayern 4 points on top. But then Dortmund 51 and Leipzig 50, Gladbach 49 and then Leverkusen 47. It is still kind of tight up there, though I am afraid. No matter how the season finishes, Bayern looks very strong. Um, on the other side, Köln is still solid in midfield, but honestly not too far away from relegation. It's only 10 points. If you hit bad form, that might be just a little bit too much. Now, let's move to Russia, where we had um, the big game uh, between Rostov and Lokomotiv. Uh, this was, uh, I think, second against third or something like that. Rostov uh, lost at home to Lok uh, 3 1. Um, at the same time, uh, we had 
that Krasnodar uh, lost also 2-0 to Sochi, so that's so those are kind of surprising results, where Zenit makes a 7-1 against Ural. Uh, all that this means is that in the table now, if Zenit ahead of Lok, 9 points, Zenit looks strong, uh, Lok level points with Krasnodar and Rostov uh, falls into 4th spot. CSKA uh, and Dynamo of Moscow make up the remaining uh, uh, Euro European spots. I think there's one for the cup winner probably in there as well. And we have to see about if there's Arsenal or Spartak moving in there. It has to uh, play out. I honestly don't know where the Russian Cup is going. And then we also had the games played in the Ukraine where we had kind of a big uh, one versus two matchup. Shakhtar uh, at Zorya, but one versus two Shakhtar is so far ahead that they could even uh, afford this one nil loss. Dynamo Kiev only won one against Desna. Uh, Alexander referred to of uh, uh, Kolos Kovalivka. So um, if you look now at the table, Shakhtar is still more than 10 points ahead of Zoria. Dynamo Kiev is in third. And then Desna Alexandria and Kolos are in there. So it didn't really matter. I just noted that they're still playing in the Ukraine. And then finally Turkey, where we had first in the midweek um, a makeup game between Vlatyaspor and Trabzonspor, where Trabzonspor got a win, and this was the same round with Fenerbahce beat Basakshi. I think it was the last loss that Basakshi here um, had. So that kind of put Trabzonspor again a little bit in the driver's seat, and then they met head-to-head -head, uh, on this weekend in a 1-1 uh, draw between the two of them. We also had Galatasaray Bajik ending goalless, um, and the Isiva Spor lost against Antalya Spor away from home. Fenerbahce also losing to Konya Spor, so the Turkish league is still very open overall. But now we have Trabzon Spor, top of the table, ahead of Bajakshi here. Galatasaray, three points behind, I think, is still in there, and Siva Spor probably, you know, their promoted team, but they are still not out of it. I think Besiktas will have a hard time challenging for the title. I think it's a three-way race with a potential for a four-way race now. Uh, it's not as tight as it was. I think that Fenerbahce will have an uphill battle to make it into Europe. Well, that's it from me for those leagues. Um, let me know if you saw any of these. I just saw the highlights of the first two games that I talked about. I know I could have watched Russian highlights, but you know, we still have to get acquainted to be all at home and uh, figure out life here. Also with work, how do you find the work-life balance now that I had trauma? So that's kind of important as well. It goes actually well, but I put soccer on purpose a little bit on the back burner. I'm doing my videos, I'm enjoying those, but I'm thinking more going forward than now looking back. I just needed to get this done for completeness sake. And if Russia, Ukraine and Turkey continue playing, they also still keep playing in South America, which I'm a little bit uh, actually concerned is probably the best way to say it. I will continue talking about these uh, leagues, but maybe a little bit sooner than I did it this week, but yeah, I just had to get readjusted. Anyway, if you can, stay at home, be safe, uh, protect everyone else by staying at home. Don't think that you're invincible. You can still spread the virus where the case around here, where a person that uh, didn't think about it infected so many people that the neighboring villages where, where we are are severely hit. So uh, please be careful. Don't think only about yourself, think also about the others. Stay home if you can. I think this is all I can say for now. Yes, the British do it slightly differently. We have to see where the variations were, but still do what is asked of you to do uh, before we really plunge into a, a real, an even bigger crisis than we are having at the moment. Just look at Italy, how bad it is there. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.